Welcome back YouTube to another video. Just chatting again. Um, this time it's more of a video quality update. So I just noticed that my videos have been blurry if I run it into full screen on my PC. I don't know what it looks like on a mobile or a tablet for that matter. So I updated the settings from, can I see, okay, settings, okay, I can actually do this, good. The settings was downscaling, but I forgot to use a filter of sharpening scaling because I was noticing when I was running VR chats, my OBS was uh, laggy, uh, whatever. Um, so I am going to test this upscale. I upscaled it a little bit by two, I think. Like, sudden, like, go up two. So. And then I use the sharpening scale 32 instead of none. So hopefully the that will fix the blurriness because I had no idea huh, that I didn't check. That's my fault. I don't check when I upload because it looks fine when I am recording. Therefore, yeah, that, that's my fault. A bit blurry when it's full screen. When you don't use full screen, it's okay. It looks normal to me. And I, my export is almost done, so that's good. Um, but yeah, this is just a quick video just to check the quality. And before I get into classic again. Because I finally, finally fixed everything that I needed. I am not using LVUI's thread plates because I prefer the one that I found for Classic better. However, in BFA, I am using LVUI's thread plates and I wanted to see if I could copy those settings and I did. I imported the settings for LVUI, so I got everything that I need into Classic, such as moving my player frame. I always get this two mixed up, player frames or the your nameplate. I prefer LVUI's uh, nameplate, meaning your health bar. I'm just, I'm just going to say I prefer LVUI's health bar that I have set up versus Blizzard's. So I got that fixed and um, I think I need to uninstall the, the two mods, I think. Uh, other than that, I am ready to go into Classic some more. But yesterday after I it fixed all my mods. I was like, no energy. But yeah, if there was a lesson to be learned and the the uh, the being banned for not talking, it's don't expect everyone to comment. Don't expect everyone to like react to what you do. There's are going to be people that prefer to be silent because they, well I had one person tell me they are so super shy when it comes to that stuff. They prefer to be hidden and not talk to the content creator. They are too, quote, L quote, afraid. So that's like my, my lesson. 
I guess, is it is okay to stalk people silently while still content or whatever. Um, and the other lesson is make sure you do not ban, unban a person who was mean to you in the first place. And I accidentally did. So yeah, I felt pretty stupid for that. And yeah. But yeah, that that's uh, the lessons right now is uh, when dealing with people and you're not vibing with them, you're going to forget they even existed and you will forget what was said. I mean, I have countless people who I used to talk to, but I don't anymore because I rose to a higher level, they are beneath me and what they were saying to me, they added nothing to, they added nothing of value. Um, I am not interested in what they have to say or what they are, um, if that makes any sense. And right now I've been dealing with that by going back looking through old messages from 2017 uh, yeah 2018 2017 and I'm like why did I even communicate with this person in the first place because they offered nothing of value to me and then they we stopped communicating altogether and most people don't make an effort to keep you in contact. If you don't contact them, they won't contact you. And for me, it's like, well, if you don't value me, you won't ever make an effort to keep me in your contact list. But then again, I, I, I let you talk to me. But since I have the Discord server, it's like, well, you can always reach me there now. So, it's, it's not like I don't make an effort. It's because back then I had a new Discord server. Therefore, it was harder for me to keep track of who was talking because there was like five different people, maybe more. But as I said, they stopped communicating and we moved on. I moved on to other projects. Um, as I said, this is between 2017 and 2018. Uh, 2019 has been very quiet. No one's really communicating to me unless it's on YouTube or in my server. Therefore, it dropped from a lot of people to hardly none and that's because I moved on to other projects and my focus is now different which is good it shows me I have grown my growth and knowing what is a value and what is not so I can see my growth and uh, yeah that's the the other thing I, I am noticing but yeah, uh, until we meet again.